you speak some introducing? Good day, everyone. Today we are here in uh, the Hotel for You, Schönhauser Allee, in the Delay, to visit our guest professor, Dr. Emeritus Professor Van Zenf from the Berlin School of Economics. And he's going to be with us today to speak about the financial crisis and its roots in the systematic deficiencies in our monetary system. So please welcome our guest and looking forward to a fruitful session today. Thank you very much for the invitation and the introduction. Uh, yeah, I am quite glad to have the opportunity to speak in this context uh, of this very interesting program. And uh, I want uh, to emphasize that English is not my language. Uh, this isn't far off uh, perfect English, so sometimes there may be some hesitation uh, if this uh, or that word uh, correct. It is the first time for me to hold uh, a lecture uh, about this issue uh, in English language, which is videotaped. And eventually, uh, it will be brought into internet. So, uh, I am quite curious how it will <laughs> develop. Okay, the world financial crisis uh, is in discussion worldwide since uh, 2008 uh, when it escalated and all the time afterwards. But my impression is that most of the discussions and most of the political means uh, which have been taken against uh, this crisis uh, have uh, got stuck on uh, some kind of a surface. Uh, these discussions uh, in politics as well as in economic science and in the media uh, did not really go and focus on the deeper roots of the financial crisis. And uh, just this is what I uh, would like to develop in this context today. Uh, one can say afterwards everybody is uh, more wise than uh, before, but I can uh, say that uh, already in my publication from 1996, uh, uh, which is called Der Nebel um das Geld, The Fog Around the Money, uh, I developed some uh, thoughts uh, in this context which showed that uh, the economic system worldwide on the basis of the, uh, of the monetary system uh, has a tendency to several kinds of crises and that uh, these crises will be uh, more and more heavy, will become more and more heavy. And uh, over many years, it was not so much uh, public interest in uh, the thesis which I developed and published and uh, also uh, held in my lectures. But uh, since 2008, uh, this, uh, this interest in this quite unconventional uh, view growed amazingly. Meanwhile, I'm some kind of an internet star in German language. <laughs> because my videos about world financial crisis, uh, they uh, are visited very often, 100,000 uh, times one of these videos, which is uh, quite a lot. It is not so much compared with the numbers in television uh, stations and programs, but it is much more than I reached uh, um, uh, relating to public interest in the years before. So uh, this is now a new step uh, to try for me to express it in English and maybe uh, if it's brought into internet to reach an English speaking and English understanding uh, audience. Okay, uh, I will start with the title and with this uh, picture uh, on this book which I will paint with some very rough graph. There is the money. Uh, I have now to change the uh, German words into English, so this means money. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it is G for 
Geld. So now, the, this money is associated with positive thoughts and feelings. It is the sun, and the sun is shining in our countries. Usually, we feel better than if it's raining and storming. So, uh, this is a symbol, the money, in its function for an economy has very important uh, aspects and uh, it is very important that the money, the flow of money in the circulation uh, is functioning and if this flow of money is fundamentally disturbed then the consequences can be very hard uh, it, uh, it, will be it will lead into economic crisis, social crisis, political crisis. We had in uh, the history of the 20th century even uh, situations where all these crises then prepared uh, the, the ground for fascism in Germany, for example. So a functioning monetary system is very essential for the functioning of economy and society. And therefore, it is uh, important to emphasize the meaning uh, of, the, of money for this uh, economic uh, system and circulation of goods and services. But there is a link between money and interest. This I means now interest. Maybe I should do it like this, uh, interest uh, is linked with money and everybody thinks that uh, it must be like this. You get interest if you lend uh, your money to another person or institution, to a bank, and then you get interest. Uh, this seems to be a fine thing. On the other hand, uh, those persons or uh, corporations or even the state who takes a credit uh, has to pay interest and not only to repay uh, the sum of credit but uh, over the years, each year, uh, there is a service of debt where uh, the interest on uh, the specific sum uh, has to be paid. So this, is, this seems to be uh, some kind of natural. Uh, it all the time was like this, and it is now like this, and nearly nobody can imagine that it may become uh, different, that money could function without interest. And usually, although, uh, not only uh, this question is not even put, because why should it be changed? There is no uh, widespread consciousness uh, about a very fundamental problem which uh, is rooted in this link of money and interest. My thesis is, and this is uh, in this picture here, uh, shown that at least five crisis tendencies develop out of this link of money and interest. This is the crisis of economy, economic crisis. This is the crisis of environment. This is the crisis of society. Uh, here it is meant in the sense of a growing polarization of society. Uh, between the poor and the rich, and this is not only an economic aspect, it is a social tension. And in a society where these tensions grow, uh, there's also the tendency that uh, some violence may break out, and uh, the development may run out of control, which history shows different uh, examples for this.